We continue following the Baby Lisa case. It's breaking news right now on First News. There's our Justin Robinson getting set up. And uh, I don't know if you need a moment, to Justin, or not. I know you just got on the scene there. The National Guard being deployed, and this is an area, thanks to you, uh, I have a better idea at least where it is, North Jackson, and we're talking about south of Northeast Parvin Road. Exactly. That's right where we are right now. You can take a look behind me. You can see that wooded area, the big grassy area. That's where a number, uh, at least 25 National Guard members and then a number of other people from many different agencies across the state of Missouri are out searching right now. Uh, they started earlier this morning. I'm joined right now with Bridget with the FBI right now. Uh, how large is this search right now, and is there anything that particularly led you to come out here today with this many people? We have significant manpower out here today. Representatives, as you said, from the National Guard, lots of different Missouri law enforcement agencies, as well as the FBI, is out there. We are just out here researching the area that has already been searched, but we have fresh eyes. We have additional manpower, and we have fresh eyes looking at the area that we have already covered. I see Johnson County Sheriff's Department cars out here, uh, Buckner, Missouri Police Department. Are those part of the fresh eyes that you have out here, and why is that so important? Those are part of the fresh eyes. We've had people out here working this since baby Lisa has disappeared. These are fresh eyes. They can bring a new look. Hopefully, might see something that we didn't see the first time around. And right now, you guys can still say you do not have a tip or a lead that's pushing you in any direction. Right. What we're out here for is to research the same area to see if there's any evidence, any tips, anything that can lead this investigation or push this investigation forward. And we just had a guy on our air whose son went missing 26 years ago and they still have not found anything, no clues. Is this something that frustrates you as uh, in the midst of this thing? You said it's two weeks, but it could be a lot longer is what we're probably looking at? It, it could be a lot longer, but one thing that's um, an asset is even today we have a representative from the National Center for Missing and Exploited children here who is an expert in coordinating large-scale searches such as this. He is out there. He is coordinating this search with all the representatives of law enforcement and the National Guard. And finally, is there anything that the public can do? We know a guy just yesterday, they searched a vacant home. They saw some things that look suspicious, called police. Police came out and searched. Is there anything that the public can do? This is something that's on top of almost everyone's mind in our community. Right. If you know something, if there's any information, if you think back of something that that might not have been too significant, but now you're thinking about it and maybe it could add up to something, reach out to law enforcement and let us know. All right, thank you, Bridget. I want you to take a look this way, Steve. You pan the camera. You can see all these cars over this way. We showed you there's about seven National Guard vehicles up there, but all these cars are the people out here today uh, in the midst of this search right now. So this is what we're looking at. Uh, Chris, we're going to toss it right back to you in the studio hey, right now. Keep Bridget Patton there, if you would, for just a moment, Justin. And I want to see if you can ask her, is there any talk right now about possibly extending the kind of search that we're seeing there on North Jackson to another day? Uh, Chris Katz wants to know, is there any possibility of extending the kind of search we're seeing out here today to another area or even another day? At this point, um, we are concentrating on this area today. What is in the future? I, I can't comment on. All right. Thank you, Bridget. Anything else, else you want to ask Chris while we have her here? Justin, thank you. I appreciate it. And our, our okay. thanks to Bridget Sorry. Patton as well of the FBI.